Yeah, it's funny when I, my wife told me her water broke at the airport, I actually called my mom and she was like, wait, you're about to coach your first, first game. I'm like, mom, you, you don't want me to come back um, and, and, and have my first baby? And she's like, oh, okay, I guess you gotta, you gotta have your first baby. Mike Magpaya was doing fine running a successful real estate business in Southern California, but all along basketball was his thing. He put in a year assisting at the University of San Francisco, then became associate head coach at Riverside. Then Tuesday night, as Riverside's head coach, he made some history, becoming the first Asian head coach to win a Division I men's basketball game. All this after having missed the season opener when his wife delivered the couple's first child. Um, so I missed the first game, watched it from the hospital room. Obviously, having Luca uh, was the greatest uh, feeling and moment of my life. Um, and then going into a week later, we're playing Washington. I think that just having a baby boy, my first, my first kid, was just settling for me and put things in perspective. Um, so going into Washington, I was really just able to focus on the game um, and the preparation. Um, yeah, I didn't even consider the fact that I was the first Asian American um, to, to get a win. I found that out at 10.30 at night when Renze Chittam's high school coach called me and says, you're on Sports Center." Obviously the news and whatnot because of the baby and being the first Asian American head coach to win a game um, made it bigger over the next few days. So that was pretty cool. You know, I really enjoyed that. And um, it was great for our program, great for our team to just get that notoriety from that win and um, from my heritage. That's the reason I started the Asian Coaches Association because when I was at Columbia, I started to realize, oh, it's interesting, like, there's not many Asian coaches. And Kyle Smith told me, he's like, yeah, they all get stuck in that director operations administrative role. And he's like, you're, the first, you're one of the few to break through, to be an assistant coach even. Like, that was it. Like, I made it. I was assistant coach and, and I was, that I was flying high because there's so few of us. There's still so few of us. It's hard. I get it because I get calls from Asian young Asian coaches all the time. Not part of you know in, in the Asian Coaches Association. They're always wondering how do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? And one of my biggest messages to them is like, listen, you have to. We're, we're we're raised to be humble, but what I did learn along the way is like you have to be a little more aggressive. Like, and I have some sales background and real estate and running my business, but like one of the things I tell the young coaches is like you have to be aggressive. Like it is a business where you got to fight and scrap um, and be aggressive in showing who you are, like what you can do. And then you got to execute, you know, which I think that a lot of like, like you, yourself or myself, like, yeah, you, we go out there and we kick butt at what we do, but can we stay, like you have to do it at a level that's just like shines above everybody else. They go like, I will take a chance on this minority. I, I know what I can do as a coach. I just needed the opportunity. I've got lucky to get this opportunity, really fortunate. But it's also what UC Riverside is, and look, if you look at our team, I really tell, we are the most diverse staff. We got two Asians on staff, um, we got an Australian on staff, um, and then our team is super diverse. We have the most international players in Division One basketball on our team, and uh, I think it served us really well. Luca will see that uh, anything is possible. But he'll just think, oh, it's completely normal that a Filipino Asian American is. Division One head coach. There's no separator anymore with basketball and Asians and basketball and minorities. He's just going to think that that's completely normal, and that would be a great gift for Luca to grow up in a world where it's just completely uh, normal for a Filipino Asian American to be a head coach of a college basketball team.